Hi nail friends and welcome back to another episode of Manny Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of Revel Nails Nude Dip Powder Kit. If you're new to my channel, I'm Cheryl Simone bringing you the best tips and tricks for making your nails look beautiful and fabulously done at home. For more content just like this, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any of my videos. So I purchased this dip powder kit and this is what it came in so I'm going to be doing a little unbagging for you guys. In this kit you get 4 dip powders and 4 liquids and Revel was so kind that they upgraded my order and sent me 1 ounce jars of powders. This powder right here it's called Ensemble. Then we have Havana. And here we have Flushed. and push and the liquids are gel thinners pro base activator and top coat i've also swatched the powder so that you could see if there's a difference when it's applied to the nail and as you all can see there is not much of a difference and for this design I'll be using Push and Ensemble as well as Opulent and Barbara and also Activator as well. So I've already applied my tips and buffed my nails and now I'm just applying Kiera Sky Bond to dehydrate the nails. If you don't have any bond you can also use rubbing alcohol. Now I apply base to the whole nail and then I dip it into my clear acrylic powder. I did one layer just to build my nails and also to protect my natural nails from the color. It really wasn't necessary for this design, but I just felt like doing it. So starting on the index finger, I apply base to the whole nail, well not the whole nail, to three quarter of the nail, you can leave out the cuticle area because we are placing glitter there. So I apply base and then I dip it into the ensemble dip powder. This is a really pretty nude color and it's finely milled and really soft, I really like it. This might be my new favorite nude color, maybe. <laughs> So now on the middle finger and the ring finger I did the whole nail with the nude color I did one layer and I'd like to also mention that this design was inspired by Hugh Queen nails on Instagram Then on the pinky nail, I just did the bottom half of the nail with the nude color. And on the thumb, I did the same thing. So I didn't want to do one nail at a time today, I just wanted to get this color out of the way for the most part and while doing my nails I was shaking. I did not understand what was happening so I didn't really have a steady hand throughout this design. It was only when I was finished with my nails I realized that I forgot to eat. I can't believe I chose to do my nails over my health, wow.
Now I'm using Activator and Opulent Glitter Dip Powder. So I'll use my acrylic brush and dip it into the activator and then into the glitter. And I created an ombre on my index finger. I don't know if y'all can see how I'm shaking in these clips, but it's sped up so I'm doubting y'all could really notice that, but yeah, I was really shaking. But the show has to go on. My nails need to look amazing. Hello. <laughs> Now in a container, I apply some of the Ensemble Dip Powder and some of the Push Dip Powder and swirl it together to get the marble effect. As you can see, I only swirl it in half of the marble mixture and the other half is just the Ensemble Dip Powder. This is because I only wanted the marble on the top of the nail and not on the bottom. So now I place some base on my middle finger and I laid my finger into the marble mixture. It looked okay but the push wasn't dark brown as I'd like it to be. So hesitantly I decided to place some Revel Barbara. <laughs> In my marble, I was praying this black didn't ruin the design. I placed a small amount and did it over again. Also, if you're getting value from this video, hit the like button below and comment your thoughts on the design as well. And don't forget to subscribe to get the best tips and tricks for beautiful and fabulous nail designs at home. I was really happy that this came out good. So now I place some more of the push and the black the powder in the marble again and swirl it together until it's to my liking. Sometimes I still apply more of the other colors you know, until I get my desired marble. So that is what I'm doing here. Now on my ring finger, I apply base to the whole nail and then I place it into the marble mixture. On the pinky nail, I apply base to the other half of the nail and then I dipped it into the opulent glitter. I should have just laid my finger into it so that it would pick up more glitter but I really forgot. So I had to do another layer and then I placed my nail parallel to the glitter so that it would um, attach more of the glitter on the nail. So now on this nail, I wanted to do those ombre where the glitter is slightly covered with the solid color. I don't know what it is called. So I take my brush and dip it into the activator and then taking a small bead, a small wet bead of ensemble, I just did that, whatever it's called. <laughs> my hands were shaking so bad here, but uh, the show must go on, okay? We must have beautiful nails. So now on the thumb, I did a glitter ombre from the tip downward.
Then I encapsulated the nails with a few layers of clear dip powder just to build my nails and I only showed one layer. I also believe I placed some activator in between layers to decrease the amount of cloudiness and bubbles that may have occurred. I'm not sure. I think I did it. But if you decide to do it, always remember to let the activator dry before applying another layer of um, base because when base gets into contact with activator, it hardens the brush. So when you apply your base and then you place um, the clear dip powder on your nails and then you place the activator, let it dry for a while, then apply some more base and more clay and then activator and let it dry, you know? And I don't believe I showed myself applying my activator. I think um, my camera, I thought I was filming when I wasn't or something like that. So now this is after filing and I really thought I was filming but I wasn't. So I applied my gel top coat already and cured for 60 seconds. And now I'm applying my um, cuticle oil to my nails. So if you like this video, you're going to want to check out my other videos on the powder. Click the videos you see on the screen and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys!